Come on. We knew he wasn't going to stay dead. That was obvious. I actually thought that he was going to make it, or we were going to make it at least halfway through the season before they brought Jon Snow back uh, from the dead. Uh, and I didn't think Melisandre was going to be able to do it. I thought they were going to have to bring in that other priest whose name is eluding me right now. Um, apparently not. He's back. Uh, this was a, this was a good episode. I, I will say that the episodes so far, and there are only two, have been a little tough because they have so many storylines going on. And you only get these little pieces of each story, and it's it's hard to really sink your teeth into because you get a couple minutes and then it jumps. I would almost prefer that they split the storylines amongst the different episodes so you get more of each person's storyline, but that's just me. I don't know. Clearly it's working, so what do I know? Uh, this was another, you know, they're moving this story along uh, quickly, or as quickly as they can. Saw a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. Um, I liked the giant playing whack-a-mole with uh, the Night's Watchmen, uh, and then uh, Zombie Mountain played whack-a-mole with the drunk guy. I'm not sure what the point was of that, other than that he's standing up for Cersei. Um, uh, I I, I want to see more of Zombie Mountain or whatever they're calling him. He's I'm sure he's going to have a, a, a huge part or play at least a pivotal role. I'm very glad, and I'm sure we all are glad, that there was no Dorn in this episode. Definitely could uh, could do without that. It was really interesting finding out that Hodor, the name was Willis. Um, what you talking about? Uh, uh, and he could talk, wonder what happened in his life that he couldn't talk. And we're definitely going to find out what Hodor is and why he's saying that, which is kind of sad that amongst all this awesome stuff happening, we wonder why... The big dumb guy says Hodor, but uh, we have to find out. Um, and there are apparently Keebler elves living in the big tree that they're all living in. I like how they just threw that in there, that there's this elf talking to, um, what's her name, Reed? Uh, and she just comes out of nowhere. I don't remember any reference to that, and they just throw that in there. We still haven't seen, in two episodes, we still haven't seen any uh, White Walkers. So I'm sure they're probably coming. I would guess we're going to see something in the next episode. The best part of the sh of the show, next to Jon Snow coming back, was definitely uh, Tyrion freeing the dragons. He's the smallest guy on the show, and he clearly has the biggest balls. That's going to be awesome. I always thought that Tyrion is probably going to be the guy who's left standing at the end of all of this. Um, so we'll see if, if it works out that way. Uh, I don't know, just another awesome episode. Can't wait to see uh, where this keeps going. I like it because, as having read all the books, we're finally into... Uh, an area where it's it's all new territory to all of us, who whether you've read the books or not. Um, I read the books, and I don't remember most of it, so <laughs> it's all kind of new to me. But whatever. Uh, cool episode. Um, Jon Snow's back. Uh, guess we're going to have to see what kind of Jon Snow came back, how he is. I'm sure he's going to be darker or messed up or broken or upset. If you watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, when they brought her back from the dead, she was all screwed up. So I'm sure Jon Snow is going to be screwed up. Yes, I just compared Buffy to the Vampire Slayer to Game of Thrones, um, so you can deal with that. Anyway, catch you next week.